God, from way up high in heaven, he has seasoned the earth with Christians. Not so that they would clump together in one place or so that you would only choose to hang out with Christian friends or so that you would only pick neighborhoods where you'll be surrounded by Christians or so that you would, have, uh, you would act like salt on Sunday morning when we get together but like something else when you are somewhere else the rest of the time. Rather, God wants you to be who he made you to be where he placed you. So that means in your workplace, if there is a culture of dishonesty, you are going to stand out by your Christ-like virtues of honesty and integrity. If your, your group of friends, your, the, the guys are going to go out and they have their idea of a good time, maybe you might suggest and try to steer things toward more wholesome entertainment. Or when the girls get together and things get a little bit gossipy, Maybe you season the conversation with kind words and, and defending the people who aren't there to speak up for themselves. That's what it looks like to be salt in, in your lives and in your circles and in the place where God has put you, to be that preservative factor, keeping things from going bad. Jesus says, you are salt. So be Salt. It's interesting how Jesus says if salt loses its saltiness, it's not good anymore, right? It might as well be sand or gravel then to, uh, to, to build roads with and be trampled underfoot. It just gets thrown out. Well, then what might happen, and when we admit that it happens more than we'd like to admit, when we aren't acting in the way that we are supposed to, when we're giving in to peer pressure or giving in to our desires, when we are just as selfish as everyone else, well, then you're no longer useful. That's not, there's nothing special or useful about that. So God says, be the preserving force in the rotting world that he has made you to be. You are the salt, so be salt. The second thing that Jesus says about you, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. The picture there uh, that Jesus is trying to create in our minds would be, well, if you can imagine yourself in Jesus' time traveling from one town to another and uh, the road goes through the wilderness or maybe a forest or something like that and you don't quite get to your destination before dark. You weren't planning on spending the night on the road. You didn't bring a, a tent or any other uh, survival uh, gear. Now it's dark and it's a little spooky and a little unsafe. Where can you find shelter? Where can you find security? And then in the distance, you see up on the hill a light and you head toward that light. And as you do, you see that that light is emanating from street lamps and from the, the lights inside of people's homes. And you say, that's the place where I can go to be safe from the darkness. I can come out of this darkness and I can be safe and secure there in the light. God says that that is what the church is supposed to be. For weary travelers in this world, a place of refuge and welcome. A city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Jesus goes on to say that neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Jesus says it would make no sense to hide your light. The kids up here a few minutes ago knew it makes no sense to hide your light. At Christ's time, that would have been the, the oil lamps that you would light and, and set on a, on a stand. You wouldn't cover that up. And today, if you turned on your kitchen light, you wouldn't try to get up on a stool with a mixing bowl and just try to cover it up. That would make no sense. You just let it shine. Let it light up your house. Let it light up your life. Jesus says, let it shine don't hide who you are. Because you will have people that you meet that have just made a mess of things, that have made a mess of their life and mostly due to their own choices. They're going to look at the life of a Christian living according to the Spirit, living out their faith, disciplined and self-controlled and kind and humble. They're going to see the kind of life that a Christian leads, not sleeping around but committed to one person. Not getting drunk all the time, but living sober 
mindedly, not doing the same stuff that everyone else is doing, people are going to notice and they're going to say, I, I want what you have. I think about a young man that I knew who was in his 20s and he ran into some trouble, uh, substance abuse, he ran into trouble with the law, had a couple of different children by a couple of different women and at a certain point he just hit rock bottom. And he looked at his parents who had been married for 40 years, just kind, humble people, salt of the earth type people. He says, I want what they have. That, that's all, I, I just want what they have. And they were able to bring their son into their home and say, let, let me tell you about what I have. We're not perfect, but we do know about a perfect Savior who has forgiven us all of our sins, and that is the foundation upon which we build our family. That guides the choices that we make and the way that we uh, conduct ourselves. That's all it is. And you're going to have opportunities like that. Not opportunities to pat yourself on the back and say, be more like me, but opportunity is to say, let me tell you about my God. Let me tell you about my Savior, Jesus. And in that way, you are letting your light shine. And Jesus says that when you do let your light shine, people will notice. It's going to mean that you're, you'll be different, for sure. A city on a hill can't be hidden. You can see it from miles away. Today, you can look at uh, pictures from space and you can pick out where all the big cities are because of the lights. That's how different light is from darkness. You'll be different. You'll be weird. But Jesus says that God is going to use your weirdness to bring himself glory. He will, bring the, the different, he will use the difference you make to bring others close to himself. You are light, so be light. 